Hey everybody, this is Mark from TentandTable.com. I want to take a few minutes and explain some of the simple repair techniques that you can use for your inflatables, your tents, or any of the vinyl products that you may have in your rental inventory. I'd say the most important tools that you're going to need will always be a pair of scissors and a silicone seam roller. These are going to be used for all three methods of repairing inflatables that I'm going to show to you right now. Um, perhaps the easiest and fastest way to repair an inflatable when you're in the field is going to be a product called TPU tape. A TPU tape is a very, very flexible tape, okay, that can be used to repair any type of a slice in a non-stress bearing area of an inflatable. Okay, this particular product is Terraid, and the Terraid is going to come with an alcohol prep. And like anything else, you're going to want to make sure that you're properly cleaning the surface. Okay, we're going to give this a second to dry. You know, alcohol is going to dry very quickly, and then you're going to take your TPU patch material. Peel it from its backing and apply it carefully to the area that's being repaired to try to avoid excess bubbles. I'm going to use the roller to make sure that I have a good adhesive bond on it. You can actually hear me pushing out some of the air bubbles, which is very similar <clears throat> to when you're putting a protective cover on a phone or your laptop. Once this bond is on, this type of a material is very strong, it is permanent, and it's very flexible. You can see right now that I'm pulling that open and it's not tearing. Um, very quick, very easy, fastest method of repairing when you're in the field. The second method of repairing is going to be using a glue patch. Um, glue patches are permanent. When properly applied, they should last for years. Um, same thing, you're going to always want to have your scissors. I like using a rounded edge patch, okay? Cut some in circles, cut some in a rectangle, but make sure you round the edges, okay? And the same thing is going to apply here. Preparation and making any adhesive work is important. This is a PVC cleaner, okay? Make sure you're using a methyl ethyl ketone based cleaner. Don't use acetone. You can use a rubbing alcohol or a denatured alcohol and it's gonna work fine. <clears throat> this particular product can be purchased at any hardware store. It's going to have an applicator inside. And one thing I like to do is, well, I thought I had my pen, is mark the area, all right, just lightly. So when I'm applying the cleaner or I'm applying the glue, I'm staying within the lines. Little mark here, little mark here. Now I'm going to take my cleaner, I'm going to prep that area, I'm going to prep the patch, okay, same thing, very fast evaporation rate, so I'm going to allow that to dry for a moment. Then I'm going to take my SX69 glue. And go over the exact same process that I did when I was cleaning. I'm actually going to go outside the area a little bit. We can clean that up later. I'm going to apply a thin even coat to both the patch and the surface that I am repairing. Ideally, I'm going to want to let this dry for a few moments so that it tacks up. While I'm letting that dry so we can see how this 
adheres, I'm going to go over to what is probably the strongest method of patching a unit. And this is actually great for seams, areas of your game that are going to be under stress. And this is a, a speedy stitcher all. Um, hard to explain this in a few moments, but I can make a good professional sewn repair by simply pushing that all through, bringing my stitch loop through, pulling back, tightening up, and going on to the next stitch. Uh, this product here has been around for over a hundred years. And you're going to find that it's commonly still used in sail making, canvas, tent and awning, and many applications where people need to do a strong professional repair in the field. Okay? You can see by looking at this stitch that it's a good stitch, it's as strong as would be done on a machine, and it is permanent. In some areas when I'm doing a repair, I may first do a speedy stitch repair, then I may actually go over it with a glue stitch. I'm going to go back now to the patch that we had started, and I'm, this is both a tacky surface now. I'm going to simply press this patch into place, I'm going to take my silicone seam roller, and I'm going to run around and make sure that it's adhered through the entire outside edge. Um, I may have a little bit of residual glue on the outside of the patch, okay? And that, I'm just going to take a little bit of the, the cleaner. I'm gonna dab it around the outside before that glue is completely dried, and I can wipe off any of that re residual glue, okay? After I do that, I'm going to rub that surface again, and I'm going to let it thoroughly dry. A properly applied patch is vulcanizing the vinyl on both sides and making it as permanent as the vinyl itself. Um, all of these products are available on our website. Um, if you ever have any questions um, about how to use them, feel free to give your sales rep a call or go on to our chat line and we should be able to help you out. But these are pretty much essential items that anybody in the inflatable rental industry or somebody who owns a product for personal use should have.